Hello, this is the puzzle piece tutorial. This tutorial is very complex, so it's more of an introductory video. If you want to fully understand everything, you're going to have to download the game file and graphics from the web page because it is just too complex. For example, yeah, that's what I was thinking. All these things. There's also some other objects we have to take into consideration. Well, let's see what we get, though, when everything's put together. I made a small little game out of this. You have to complete the puzzle before the time runs out. Ready to start? Yes. So here you notice we got our puzzle. You get a brief look at the whole thing. And when I move my mouse over... Now it's fading away. When I move my mouse over the puzzle pieces, you can still see it light up. And I got so much time to complete the puzzle. And I have mistakes. I have what's correct. I also can use clues. Now, if I left click the puzzle piece, it, it selects it. And then I can right click and place it. I get five points. If I place the gem or the puzzle piece in the wrong place, I accidentally said gem because you're getting gems after each puzzle piece is placed and at the end you get so many points. If I accidentally put the piece in the wrong place I get a mistake and 15 seconds are are taken from the timer. I don't have to be exactly on the piece to place it in the right spot. I only have to be touching it. If you don't know where something is you can use the clues and help you finish the puzzle. I challenge you to finish it in the timer. I've done it. It is difficult. Don't think you can place pieces randomly all the time because you'll make too many mistakes and lose too many seconds that way. As I said before, this is way too complex to explain and this is one tutorial you're going to have to look at the program itself. If you open the puzzle pieces, just to show you one thing, I use two um, objects for every puzzle piece. The fill objects, as you can read here, control whether or not the mouse is touching the puzzle piece and whether it lights up. And the other puzzle piece is determined, is the one you pick up and you place. And I hope you can figure this out. Once I did, I never wanted to relearn it again, and it helped me out in future programs and games that I made. So, good luck.